Mistakes are made to be corrected, not to be insulted. Everyone can make mistakes. And these errors in life don't really define us. They can only help us to grow and be a better version of who we really are. Today, I'm going to show you some common mistakes in English and how to correct them. Which is correct? Anyways or anyway? The word anyways is often used in spoken English, but it should be avoided in writing because it is considered to be extremely informal. The word anyway without the s is considered acceptable in formal writing and should be used instead. Anyway is an adverb and means regardless or in any event. You shouldn't use anyways in your formal writing. Delete the word anyways from your brain and convince yourself that it doesn't exist. Advice versus advice. Advice with A, D, V, I, C, E is a noun, meaning recommendation, suggestion, or opinion about what someone should do. For example, I am a doctor. You should listen to my advice. On the other hand, advice with S and pronounced as advice is a verb, meaning the act of giving a recommendation, suggestion, or opinion about what someone should do. For example, I advise you to take this medicine and get lots of rest. Accept versus accept. Accept with A, C, C, E, B, T is a verb, meaning to agree to take something or to say yes to an offer or invitation. Example, I don't have any money. Do you accept credit cards? Accept. Accept is a preposition. It means not including or but not. Example, we accept all methods of payment except for credit cards. Lose versus lose. Lose means to no longer have something because you do not know where it is. I always lose my keys. It also means to fail to succeed in a game or competition. Example, we can't lose this game. Next, to have less or something than you had before. I'm trying to lose weight. Lose with L-O-O-S-E means not firmly held or fastened in place. For example, there's a dangerous dog on the loose. Next, Loose hair is not tied back. Her hair was hanging loose to her shoulders. Next, not fitting closely to the body. Example, these trousers are loose. Adapt versus adopt. These two words are both verbs. Adapt means to change something to suit different conditions or uses, whereas adopt, with an O, is to accept or start to use something new. Example, people adapt to their environment by adopting new behaviors. When James moved to Alaska, he needed to adapt to the cold weather. Next, so he adopted the behavior of wearing warmer clothes. Adapt. Adopt. Effect versus effect. Effect with an A is a verb. It means to have an influence on someone or something, or to cause a change in someone or something. For example, studying English affects your English ability. Regular exercise is positively affecting Katie's health. Next, effect. Effect with an E is a noun. It means the result of a particular influence. Example, the effect of studying English is a better English ability. Regular exercise is having a positive effect on Katie's health. Effect, effect. Stationary. Stationary with S-T-A-T-I-O-N-A-R-Y 
is an adjective. It means not moving or unchanging in condition. For example, she crashed into a stationary vehicle at the side of the road. The doctor said that his condition was stationary. On the other hand, stationary with S-T-A-T-I-O-N-E-R-Y with an E is a noun. It means writing materials and office supplies. I own a stationary company that focuses mostly on supplying schools. There is hardly any stationery left in the office. Stationery. One more thing. Learners shouldn't be scared to commit mistakes because we learn from them. Especially versus specially. Especially with an E is an adverb. It is used to single out one person or thing above all others, particularly. Example, I enjoy surfing, especially in summer. Sleep is especially important for growing children. Now, especially without the E. It is also an adverb and means for a particular purpose or in a special manner, specifically. The first one with an E is particularly the second one is specifically. Now, she prepared a speech specially for the occasion. Next, he has his suits specially made in Italy. Take note, in especially, you have other things to consider. For example, especially in summer, we still have three other seasons, winter, autumn or fall, and... What's the other one? Spring. Compliment. Compliment with an E and compliment with an I. Both are verbs. The first one means to make something else seem better or more attractive when combining with it. Strawberries and cream complement each other perfectly. That scarf perfectly complements your outfit. The second compliment with an I. It means to politely congratulate, praise, or express admiration for someone. For example, she complimented him on his cooking. He complimented my outfit. Both have the same pronunciation but different spelling. Compliment. Nobody's perfect, but practice makes perfect. The most important thing is you enjoy learning. Have fun.